Oh, the other day, I was driving in front of a bus, but there was two people that was waiting to get on the bus. One got on my bus. The other woman wanted a bus behind. I didn't know at the time, but I realised the bus shot past without stopping. Now, that is a big, big issue for TfL because I think that is, the, from what I understand, the biggest complaint passengers have for bus drivers is that we leave them behind. Now, it's happened to me once when I didn't realise these people wanted a bus. I slowed down, but they didn't show any sign of body language or nothing, and I just drove past. But I wish I actually stopped because we are, in a way, we are trained to stop. But I just, at a moment when I just went past, and I should have stopped. So I know it can happen by mistake, or by not just, or by not thinking, you know? You just do things, cause you, because with this job, you stop at the bus stop so often, there is times when you, you sort of make a decision, a wrong decision. Anyway, that was my issue. I had to go and see, I had to go in the office for that. But what is, I, want, I always wonder to myself, what is the main reason why bus drivers do it? Because I've actually seen it. I've seen it a bit. For the 10 years I've been a bus driver, I've seen other buses in front of me do it. And I've seen buses come past me do it. And so it does happen. It does happen and it shouldn't happen. But it happens as often. It happens quite often because, as I said, it's the biggest complaint. One of the big issues is... Sometimes a passenger might not put their hand out, but we are not supposed to wait for that. But some of us still do. We wait for someone to put their hand out. There is people out there that's got disabilities. We don't even know that whether they can put their hand out. We don't know nothing about them. So that's why in our training, we, we, we have to just assume that everybody that's standing at the bus stop wants your bus and just slow right down or stop. Uh, and then usually they start walking. But what the problem is, some of them don't start walking, they're just standing still and you might go past and they do on your bus and then you end up getting a letter. So it's quite tricky sometimes. But I think for me, the, the fail safe way of not leaving anyone behind is just is to stop every time. Stop every time. Now, there's, there's quite a few situations or there's a few situations where passengers can be confused and bus drivers can make a mistake. When you get a stop where a lot of buses can stop at, you might have three buses there and you turn up, you're the fourth bus. Now you have to stand there for a bit, wait for a bit to find out whether any passengers need your bus. Sometimes you can't even see the passengers. Depending on the angle of the road, the road could be curved. You might not even see there's anybody there, but you've got to, this is what I do, got to stay there at least 30 seconds. If you're not too sure after that, just drive around slowly but i think keeping the pace don't drive too fast because then you can stop if somebody just comes out from between on one of the buses or someone is just appears from nowhere like like it happens sometimes so it's quite tricky it's quite tricky but the thing is i have seen i don't want to mention routes or anything like that but i've seen some drivers who are literally not even looking they're not looking for the passengers and i i, don't, I think that is that seems to, doesn't seem right to me, but I, sometimes I don't know exactly what happened there. Why did a person not even look? You know, you might have, you might pull up at a bus stop and there could be about three people there. And then you get a driver behind who might be going, he might be going the same way as you part way, but then he's going to be going either further. Like you get buses that come down Bromley Road in South East London. You got, but some buses got all the way to Bromley. I've seen some of those buses go past people that I've stopped for these people, but they don't want my bus, they want the other bus that's going all the way further, further. And the buses have gone past. I mean, I must admit, it's made me quite annoyed because I'm thinking, I'm, I'm looking at the passenger and I'm thinking, they're not pleased, they're not pleased at all. I've had people that I've seen, I've seen like, you know, you can sort of tell, you could tell the kind of people that it happens to sometimes. I've seen a builder one time and he was just standing there and the bus went straight past. And I could see how annoyed he was. So I think, me personally, I do my best not to do it. 
I do my best to do it because from what I understand, from what I, from my basic knowledge, this job, the only main thing that we do in this job is to pick up people. That is the main, our job is not complicated in terms of what, what is our aim. Our aim is to pick up people at the bus stop and our aim is to get them there safely. So it shouldn't be an issue for anybody. You know, if people get left behind, it should be very small numbers and that's due to mistakes. But but I've seen things where I've seen stuff that is not mis that's not a mistake. I've seen people just not I think so I think it boils down to a level of care. It's brought boils down to a level of care and how you see passengers. I mean from what I understand, from what I see, passengers obviously they're human beings. Passengers are they could be anybody, they could be you know, they're someone's someone's wife, someone's mother, someone's daughter, someone's sister and so it's just giving them the treatment that they deserve really so yeah it's a it's a it's a it's an issue i'm not even too sure whether it's been reduced whether it's got better over the years but tell me what you think about it have you as a passenger as you as a passenger actually been left behind before even even bus drivers who also are passengers, because some bus drivers don't drive or some bus drivers don't drive their car to work or they, on the weekends they might go on a bus, like I do. And I remember I was coming back from Notting Hill Carnival, was at Bayswater Road, I think it's called. And I remember this bus coming towards me and I looked, I could check from a distance that it wasn't full up. Some people were standing on it, but it wasn't full up. It was nobody at the front. It wasn't full up. And it was in the middle lane. It was, I think there was two lanes, actually. It was in the right lane coming towards me. And I put my hand out. Because I know, being an experienced bus driver, I know that for you to put, when you're putting your hands out, you've got to make sure you do it in a, in a positive way, assertive way, because I know, because I've seen drivers go past people. So I actually was hoping this bus was going to stop the guy didn't even he didn't even come into the lane where the bus he didn't even come into the left lane he just went straight and he wasn't full up at all it was almost like i'm making assumptions now it's almost like it was it was sometimes you read people you think you i might not know exactly why he did it but to me it's like well, not in all carnival when people's going home from not in the carnival there is it's almost a million people and i and i remember i was further up in the carnival and I, didn't, I thought let me just go, go for a walk walk further away from the crowd I didn't want to get on a bus when everyone was trying to trying to get on so I thought I would just go walk further down and catch a bus further down you know I wasn't too wasn't I was bothered but I wasn't too bothered just to walk a little bit and um so I kind of got this feeling that you know you know, sometimes people, bus drivers get tired. They, they either get tired or they don't like the job. And then, can you imagine them doing a duty when not new carnival's over. And I'm feeling this guy was just like, he wasn't really feeling it. He just wanted to get out of there as soon as can. And he wasn't, there, were bus, there, was, a bus bef there was a bus before, that came before him that was stacked. You know, right up to the window. And I, you know, I'm not expecting that guy to stop. And I'm fine with that. But this guy, he just had a few people standing. It was just, he had so much room. And so, yeah, I was upset. So I understand from that how people can feel. I was just trying to get home. I'd work the next day. And uh, I just had to wait long to follow the bus. So it is an issue. It is an issue. At the end of the day, from what I, my assumptions and my where I understand things. There's there's a lot of jobs out there, a lot of work out there, but there's a lot of workers who don't always want to do the job. And I understand people get fed up. I understand people do a job just for the money. I understand people just do what they like. But at the end of the day, it it affects other people. It even even some of the decisions that we make as bus drivers can affect other bus drivers. So you know, on the other side of it, the flip side of all this is that passengers can be at fault. We know that. 
I've, I've, I've thrown out some stuff about the bus drivers, but passengers can be at fault. 